It's all about adjustments, and if you learn anything from watching Bartolo Colon, it's about the mid-game adjustments. Two out, two on, two two to Swisher, and it's bounced to second. The former Brave Kelly Johnson plays it, and Colon has his 26th consecutive scoreless inning. Miller lines one to center, but right at Cespedes, and that retires the side. That's 27 consecutive scoreless innings. Krasinski lines one to center, and Cespedes measures this one. That retires the side. Well, Colon's given a bullet after bullet, but he still has his scoreless inning streak intact. Now the longest ever for a 42-year-old pitcher. And Colon rips one into center field. That's a base hit. Here comes Kowicki around third. The relay to the plate, not in time. Bartolo Colon with an RBI single. The legend of Big Bart only grows. His eighth hit, his fourth RBI, and the Mets lead 3 0. Nice hitting, Bart. He is unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> and Swisher is made quick work of. That's the first strike out of the night for Cologne. Gone back home. One long hop for a rebate. And a 1 2 3 inning for Cologne. And the zeros just keep piling up. Miller down on strikes. Second strike out of the night for Cologne. Blown ahead on Marquegas 1 2. Great diving stop by Flores, and he throws him out with help from Duda on the other end. Beautiful play by Flores gets Cologne to an even 30, 30 consecutive scoreless innings for the ageless senior Cologne. Hour, hour and a half period. Duda makes the backhand play, gets the out. Cologne covering, and it's in time for the double play. 6-1 beautifully executed and the side retired. Pull down the line and that's a fair ball going to the corner. Racing for third is Swisher. He's going to be waved around. Granderson's throw goes to second and the scoreless streak has come to an end for Cologne. It's a triple for Jace Peterson driving in Swisher and it cuts the Mets lead to 4-1. To and so Bartolo Cologne's shutout streak ends at 31 consecutive innings. Or how patient Terry is here with Bartolo in this inning. Michael Bourne tying run at the plate with nobody out. And Bourne grounds one, could be two if they hurry. Johnson to Flores, return to first, not in time. Bourne's just a little too quick. Still a very tough man to double up, but they do get the lead runner Simmons for the first down. Reached four and hit out to right center. Granderson gets over. And that's the second out. Tagging is born, but he'll stay put at first base. Really, really smart pitching from Cologne, realizing he's got a power bat up there and just stayed away from him with breaking stuff. And Terry's going to lift him right here with the left hand hitting Mark Agus. Cologne leaves with a 4 2 lead. We'll be right back.